there is nothing like watching football live. The sheer spectacle, the roar of the crowd, the camaraderie of faithful fans. It's almost spiritual. If football is religion, then the stadium is the cathedral. But in recent years, state-of-the-art broadcast technologies have given the live experience a serious run for its money. A lot of folks prefer to watch at home. All right, how do I do it? Just put it right there. Right there. there. You're good to go. All right, Great thanks. Time. The creators of Levi's Stadium, dubbed the world's first smart stadium, believe there's no substitute for the game day experience. They're simply bringing it into the 21st century. Hey guys, it is game day and I'm here in Santa Clara, California. This is Levi Stadium, home of the 49ers, and this year they're playing host to the Super Bowl. This stadium is totally connected. It even has its own app. In fact, I parked in this lot today using a digital parking pass and my tickets are stored right on my phone. Now I got here in this GMC Yukon, which is also really connected itself. Not only does it have built-in 4G LTE Wi-Fi, but it also has this really cool app called Remote Link. It lets me interact with this vehicle no matter where I am. So I can do things like check the fuel level, see where it is on a map, even remotely unlock the doors in case I leave my keys inside because I'm too excited to get to kickoff. So as much as I'd love to hang out in this parking lot and tailgate all afternoon, let's go inside and check it out. This NFL season will end here in Santa Clara and the technology in this stadium will make Super Bowl 50 the first ever wired Super Bowl. We're here to see what the hype is all about. One of the big challenges that you see in a lot of stadiums is just knowledge and location. Imagine it's your first time to a stadium, 70,000 people around you, all you wanna do is find your seat. And they've really solved that problem here because they put these little Bluetooth transmitters all over the place and they basically can pinpoint where you are using your smartphone and lead you somewhere. The information architects of Levi's Stadium clearly understood the power of putting control of the game day experience into the hands of the fan. And they did it through one customized app. Call it the remote control for this intelligent and ultra-wired building. With a 40 gigabyte per second pipe to the internet, serving at least 21,000 unique clients at each game. There's super fast Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and the world's largest collection of 4K displays in any stadium anywhere. John Paul is the app's creator. So this is all of the information you're collecting off people using the app. Yes, or something. our back-end systems, right? So like right here, what we're looking at is, is this is parking entrance today. As soon as we can get people to use their mobile phone, we start to know what that particular fan is doing wants to do and can offer them better service. So what we've done is said, hey, how can we use a smartphone, use the network, integrate these systems, and make it more convenient? Take that hassle out of going to a live event. The key here is how many fans in the stadium use it on a given game day. And 30% of the people that are out there in their seats have used the app somewhere during the day. And the app is what lets a fan have the experience, but the real exciting thing is all the data that the team starts to understand about who is in the stadium. So show your 49ers pride and your You might say you prefer to watch at home because you can hit pause on the game when nature calls, you can skip the commercials, or replay any action you want to see again. Well, the stadium app is bringing the home experience right to every fan seat. I really wasn't sure what to expect from the replay aspect of the app. The stadium does a replay on the Jumbotron, but the app lets you do your own replays. So as soon as I saw this touchdown, I was able to go into the app and watch that touchdown again, not only from one angle, but like five different camera angles. I thought that was the coolest thing ever, and it happened in near real time. So as soon as that touchdown happened, I thought, well, let's see how long it's gonna take for them to get the video on my phone. It was already there. User data harvested through the app allows the stadium to track second by second who is doing what, when. Who is ordering from their seat? Who's waiting in line at a food stand? Which bathroom lines are the longest? 
and second by second exactly how you are experiencing the game. But a smart stadium also means being smart about the environment, particularly here in the Bay Area. Throughout the year, the solar panels built into Levi's Stadium generate enough energy to power all their home games. The tech here works seamlessly because it was built into the construction from the ground up. It's part of the DNA. A stadium built for the fan with a smartphone in his pocket. But is all that enough for Levi's Stadium to replace Candlestick as the home of the faithful? I think the buildings that stand the test of time are the buildings that don't lose sight of the game on the field, right? You know, this game is still about the 11 guys that are on the field. You know, the reason why you come to a venue is to watch. Is to enjoy it with your family or your friends or your colleagues. And there's a lot of tech that I love and there's a lot of the sustainability that I love and the fact that we're responsible to the area. But it's hard not to love the pageantry around the sport itself the fans, the colors, the noise, the environment, the smell. I mean, you're here for that. You know, that's the memories that you take with you. They say this is one of the smartest stadiums in the world, and after checking the tech, I think visitors to this year's Super Bowl are going to be impressed. Now the game's over, it's time for me to get out of here, but before I do, I'm gonna use my Remote Link app to not only start the engine on my GMC Yukon, but the SUV is gonna check the exterior temperature and adjust the cabin so it's perfect when I get back inside. Now that's a game-winning play. I'll see you guys next time.